Welcome to the another video of Chrismatic Planet. Lomatia Tasmanica, a plant that is more than 43,000 years old. Lomatia Tasmanica, which is commonly known as King's Holly, is an unusual plant. This is a shrub that is the native to the Tasmania. The plant produces flowers but no fruits or seeds, though have shiny green pinnate leaves. During its propagation process, the King's Holly drops a branch and lets it take a root. In a narrow corridor of land just over 1 km in length, all existing members of Lomatia Tasmanica are found. This colony has reproduced vegetation so the entire groove is genetically identical. Historically, plants have cloned themselves for at least 43,000 years, possibly for more than 135 years. Consequently, Lomatia tasmanica is among the oldest living plant clones. During the mining of tin in the southwestern Tasmania, Australian miners Charles Jennison King discovered Lomatia tasmanica in 1934. The plant was recognized as a species of Lumetia by King himself as he was a naturalist. It was, however, not known to him that it was a new species, nor did he suspect its astonishing age. Approximately 5 km from King's first finding, another population of the same species was discovered. Unfortunately, the original plant group has been extinct for some time. Winifred Curtis of the University of Tasmania was contacted to identify the cutting of the plant. Lumetia Tasmania was officially named by Curtis as he was able to confirm it was a new species based on its discoverer's name. Most commonly, it is known as King's Holy. There is something remarkable about King's Holy's slow growth. One piece of the stem was dendrochronologically dated to be 240 years old, indicating 0.26 mm of growth per year. This slow growth rate of could allow such a plant to persist for hundreds of years or even thousands of years in a confined space. It was found that fossilized leaf fragments dating back 43,600 years were carbon dated. Since the plant cloned itself, it has lived for about 300 years, even though each plant only lives for about 30 years. There is a critical threat to the conservation of Lumetia tasmanica. About 1.2 kilometers of the landscapes are covered with only one remaining plant group. From the 1990s, Tasmania started developing controlled environment for other Lumetia population in this area, which is prone to fires and other natural threats. Despite great efforts cultivating the plant, has been largely unsuccessful. Natalie Tapson, the professor of plant science at the University of Tasmania, explained that this plant doesn't like root disturbance, which means every time we put it on and losing the plants. In spite of being propagated for thousands of years, Lumetia tasmanica is quite a fragile plant. In an attempt to graft King's holy plants onto roots of similar plant, Tapson and her colleagues are currently working on the process. In order to prevent loss of the plant, when planted out or transferred, Tapson says, it is hoped that by putting it on a stronger rootstock, you won't lose that tree. King's Holy is so fragile that specimens are not displayed at the Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.